Hi again, everyone. Chris Tisdale here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos on matrices. Now, after engaging with the content in this video, you'll be able to successfully compute the transpose of a matrix and you'll know a basic uh, transpose identity. Hope you enjoy. The transpose of a matrix, denoted by this A superscript T, is basically you're interchanging rows with columns to form a new matrix called the transpose. Okay, so here's a two by two matrix. Basically, you take the first column, minus four, six, and you write it as the first row. Take the second column, 3 minus 10, and write it as the second row. That's the transpose. OK? Let's look at another case. And I'll come back to this in a second. Let's say I've got um, a matrix, which is a vector in this case, that's a three by one, three rows, one column. The transpose will be a one by three matrix. So it's got one row, let's make it one column. Uh, sorry, it's got one column, let's make it one row. Okay, now if you wanted to put little commas in there to separate everything, that's okay too. Now, a nice little identity here is if you take the transpose of a transpose, you get back what you started with. Okay? So, you know, let's have a look. If I calculate the transpose of this matrix, what do I get? Well, so this is um, minus 4. So I'm transposing all of this. Let's take this, write it as the first row. Take this, write it as the second row. OK? So that's some real basic things to jog your memory about matrices. I can't present them all here. We'll actually learn some more stuff as we go in the next lecture. But this is the real, real basic, real basic operations and basic definitions associated with matrices. <laughs>